In this video, we will learn how to produce a income statement with a side-by-side -side comparison by Profit Center. I will be using CenterPoint for Agriculture for this demonstration. For those of you who are using CenterPoint Accounting for Business or CenterPoint Fund, the steps will remain the same. Some of the terminology might be a little bit different. For those of you using CenterPoint Fund, if we reference a company that is equal to a fund in your program, if we reference a profit center that is equal to a department. For both CenterPoint for Fund and CenterPoint Accounting for Business Customers, if you see a reference to production center that is equal to a location in your product. The income statement itself is located underneath reports and reports underneath a section called financial statements. As you can see, there's many variations of the income statement that are included by default, including one called the Profit Center Income Statement. And I'm going to highlight that one and click Preview. The issue that some customers have with this particular income statement is, is that it only addresses one profit center at a time. So it does a complete income statement for that profit center before moving on to your next profit center. And it can require a lot of uh, uh, paper in order to print it, and it doesn't allow you to see that side-by-side -side comparison. So I'm going to close that report, and we're going to go up to our regular income statement. We can configure our regular income statement to give us the information in that side-by-side -side comparison type of format. I'm going to highlight the report, and I'm going to choose my date range on the right-hand side. I'm also going to filter for just one of my companies. If you want to filter for just some of your profit centers, you'll want to make sure that you have a filter for profit centers. So if you don't have one already, you can go down to more items, find profit center, put a check mark in it, and you'll have a filter for profit center. I have filtered for my three profit centers, corn, purchase feeders, and soybeans. Now, in order to do that side-by-side -side comparison, I need to add one more filter. So I'm going to go to the more items, and the filter that I need to add is called Fill Other Columns With. As I select that filter, you'll see that I get options of what I want to fill those other columns with. So I can fill them by company or fund, by profit center or department for those using fund accounting, by production center, and I can even fill them by different projects and so on. So there's many options that I can fill the columns with. I'm going to choose profit center. And again, for those of you using fund, that is your department. And I'm going to click preview. Initially, when we click on the preview, we're not going to see a separate column for each one of those profit centers. We do need to go to the columns tab on the left and then go to Available Columns. Near the end of the list of available columns is a section that says Specified Columns. Now I need to add one specified column for each of the profit centers I'm including, and I'm including three of them. So underneath each one of those specified columns, I'm going to add the Amount column for each of those profit centers. So I'm going to select the Amount column for that. And then I'm going to go back to the Selected tab. Now I can decide to leave this total column on there or I could remove it. I'm going to leave it on my report, but I'm going to move it to the end of the report. And then I'm going to click Refresh. And as you can see, I have a separate column for each one of those profit centers. And if I have so many profit centers or departments that I fill the um, a portrait size sheet of paper, it will turn it to landscape. And if it goes beyond landscape, you still have the option to go over to the columns tab and adjust the width of the columns. If I want to save this to my favorites, I can click on the star icon on my toolbar and go ahead and give it a name. And I'm just going to call this my profit center income statement and then click OK. And then that is going to be included on my favorites list.